So over the last uh, few months, I've had the opportunity to build a few projects with Remix. Um, it's a React-based framework. I uh, built my homepage with it, which I'll dive into a little bit. But um, I enjoyed it so much that I thought it would be a great opportunity to provide an intro and then some, share some resources with the virtual coffee community. So um, Remix is uh, here we go. Remix is a React-based framework built by the React Router team, built on top of React Router. And you'll see that come into play here shortly. But they label themselves a full stack web framework that allows you to focus on the UI and work back through web standards to deliver a fast, slick, and resilient user experience. This is otherwise known as progressive enhancement, okay? So progressive enhancement is a design philosophy that provides a baseline of essential content and functionality to as many users as possible while delivering the best possible experience to users of the most modern web browsers that can run all the required code. And so this is great because not everyone has the same connectivity or technology. And so Remix is built on this principle where out of the box, it helps you create a simpler but still usable experience for users of older browsers and devices that have limited capabilities, while at the same time, it delivers a more compelling full featured experience for users of newer browsers and devices with richer capabilities. So it allows your web project to progress with the user and their connectivity and devices. Um, so it goes kind of wherever the user is and whatever they're using, you can kind of deliver this, this kind of good experience for them. So. I thought about making more slides, but I was like, you know what? Their website is so good. So I'm just going to use their website as basically my slides. Um, so this is a little block of code that basically sums up, up the, the, the basics of Remix. Um, and I'm going to go through this real quick, and then we'll kind of review some of it as we go down. But basically, Remix, like out of the box, it gives you like, well, it's, it's important to say that the, the, the route, so it's all about route. So you create a route for your component and your, your, your UI route is also your API route. And so something like this, like they provide a loader function and this is a Git projects is like a off screen uh, method they're using, but basically they have a loader function where you can do stuff in this loader function. And this is just gonna go get projects and return it. And, but then you, you pick that data out of this hook, use loader data. So they give you loader function, loader data, and you can then take that and you can uh, you know, display it out. They also give you basic HTML form component that when you submit it, it taps into their action function, which then you know, does, it takes a request and gets the form data off it. And then of course it runs this create project uh, method, which is off screen to create it. So in your UI, You've, you're, 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 you're going to get something from loader. You're losing, you're using the data to display it. You're grabbing the data to display it. You're also able to submit and run actions, which then hits your kind of API and creates a project, which then in turn is returned, right? So um, another great thing that they offer is uh, basically state management, like with, through the use transition hook. Like when I was working in Remix, I didn't use a single use state because they have it built in. So you basically just get state from use transition and you, you know, there's three kind of levels of state. There's, um, let's see, there's submitting, there's idle submitting and loading. And so you can use that to give yourself some kind of, uh, you know, uh, give your user some messaging about what's happening and stuff. So this is just a quick little, little rundown of, of what they're, kind of the, the, the basic features of Remix. And you can already see that this is, to me, it's already easier than a React or even Next because it just provides you with a lot of stuff. So, um, so let's see. So um, the website's amazing. So definitely check it out. But one of the things they really uh, pitch is the nested routing. And this makes sense when it's based on React Router, right? So Every, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just scroll through here to get to this little section right here. So every route uh, returns some UI. So you've got the, the, the route, you've got the whole, the sales section of the, of the page, you got the invoices and you got the invoice ID. So you're kind of drilling down. And this is really cool because as you'll see in a minute, if one of these pieces hits an error, like a Remix provides an error boundary to where you can just throw an error right on this little 
little invoice section as opposed to uh, the whole page. And they, they claim that you don't need any spinners, you don't need any skeleton UI because of the way they've designed it. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, so nested routing is super cool. Um, and uh, so, yeah, they talk about a waterfall, like the old school way with Remix is, is um, and it says right here, it says most web apps fetch inside of components, creating request waterfalls, which means slower load and more jank. Well, Remix loads data in parallel on the server and sends a fully formed HTML document. And so you'll see these two examples here on the left, this is the waterfall and on, and on the right is Remix, but they, you can, I'll just scroll through slowly and you can kind of see See how it delivers all these here in parallel. Now, if one of these failed, it would just be this specific little component that failed and you could just air handle that. Um, yeah, so that's that's super sweet. And so um, another thing they do, which is uh, it's, it's they, they tap it, they tap into the kind of web standard prefetch. Um, and this is a great example where you can like hover over something, you can prefetch all the data. So then when you click on it, it actually is ready to populate. And you'll see a great example here, or watch this little mouse uh, cursor here, kind of kind of goes over there, it hovers, it's simulating all the resources that it's grabbing. And then you click on it, boom, and it's all there for you. So that's like prefetch. And they kind of joke, they say, you know, it's basically just prefetch link tag. And they one of their big uh, philosophies is use the platform. And so what Remix is doing, like I wasn't around in the older days where a lot of this stuff was, was uh, active, but they basically kept the modern flow and the modern expectations, but they're using the platform more. So it's uh, as a joke where uh, someone said Remix is JavaScript for boomers. <laughs> so, um, but that's just, you know, the platform exists and there's a lot of great APIs. So they're just using that and it, it, it's proving to be a, a, a Great, use, great developer experience for me. Um, so let's see. Uh, okay, so just, this is kind of another little review here. So you you just have a form, right? You form, it's got a post, uh, sorry, post action, right? And then you tap in to that action where based on the function they provide and you, uh, you basically just get the form data and run your, stuff and you know this is a this is a redirect to the invoice uh, url and yeah so it's just oh and they also handle like race conditioning where like if someone was to click two or three times it would cancel and then they would run it again here so um and another great thing is they like i said before they built in transitions so you don't even have to worry about you know any of the older kind of react patterns you just kind of grab transition from use transition and you said you know, if the state is submitting or if the state is idle or if the state is loading, do something. So I, I find that great. Um, and then, yeah, and that's, they also have a submission, which is like uh, uh, all use, interest, use transition, which will allow you to do kind of like uh, optimistic UI, they call it, where you, you kind of assume things are gonna happen. And if they do, you display something. If they don't, you display something else. Um, and so, yeah, it's all based on HTML forms, which is like, again, I'm, I'm a newer side of web dev, so I don't uh, know a ton of like what, what used to be done in HTML forms, but they're bringing this kind of back, the web standards and the platform back, which I find very interesting. Um, and the final thing I'll mention from their website is just error handling. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, they, uh, so each route module can export an error boundary next to the default route component. So it's like they're ready for you. So as you'll see here, this little component is fails, but the rest of the UI loads. So it's a better experience, uh, you know, as opposed to having one big spinner or a bunch of skeleton UI or a, or a page that doesn't load at all. Um, and, but, you know, they, they also just bubble up so it, you can kind of treat it uh, it just helps. It just helps with your air, all your air handling, and uh, it makes it a lot easier. I have found. So anyway, that's that's their website. That's like the majority of my slides. But I'm going to jump into um, into my uh, website here, and uh, I built this on Remix, and I've I've got a couple pieces I want to show here. So the articles is an API call to Dev2, right? So I've got one source of truth brings it in. The um, projects is an API call to GitHub. 
And, um, and so the code of that is, is uh, kind of what we've seen before. So we've got use loader data that we're bringing in from Remix. We've got this loader function right here, right? They even provide types. So as you can see on line two, they, we bring in a type loader function from Remix. That's what you assign the, the, to loader. You do a basic fetch, right? Browser fetch call. You return the uh, JSON from the articles, and then you grab that data. You grab the the data returned from the loader with the use loader data hook, and of course, we just set it to articles, and we do our normal mapping here. So that's to me that's just phenomenal. And I did the same thing in um, in uh, my projects. I just you know added some headers to the fetch call, and then um, you did some other stuff to it, but. So that, that's really the what I wanted to share and what I wanted to kind of reveal to people is that, you know, people, you think about, oh, not another framework, all that kind of stuff. There's so many frameworks, but I, I really think Remix being built by the React Router team, being built on top of React Router, it's a React. I mean, you could just do your normal React stuff if you wanted to, um, but, it's, uh, but it provides you with a lot of basic web API, browser API um, functionality, which I think is great. And so the last thing I want to um, end on is just some resources, right? So these are this is kind of what I've been diving into to really learn what's happening. Um, I will say that uh, uh, Kent C. Dodds, who's a, a well-known developer out there, he joined in November as their kind of, um, I, don't, I don't want to get this wrong, but the developer relations, uh, I think, or, or kind of teaching or whatever. But, you know, Kent's a great teacher, a lot of great content. Well, he is on the team. And so he's elevating the whole project uh, a ton um you know it was already doing great but he came on and, and now they're they're cruising really well so the remix docs are a great place to start um they have this developer blog which i did when i first started learning it that's pretty straightforward then they have this huge jokes app which is like uh deployed to fly and it's just a huge tutorial but those are two great tutorials to start uh the blog is excellent too because they talk about react router stuff they have a great post about next versus remix and how remix uh kind of improves and gives next some competition which is which i think is good the remix singles are excellent ryan florence who's the one of the main uh founders and 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 developers on the team he um you know he was responsible for react router with michael jackson and um anyway react single remix singles are great like they real small snippets of kind of what remix is offering i recommend that and then there's a new feature that came out called Remix Stacks. And uh, Learn with Jason, one of my favorite web shows, is always good. And Kent C. Dodd's uh, episode is great. He, he introduces Remix Stacks. And what Remix Stacks is, is just like templates. Um, let me find it real quick. Uh, Remix Stacks. All right, here it is. So it's a feature in the Remix CLI that allows you to generate a project super quickly, right? And they've got multiple stacks they have a blue stack indie stack and grunge stack they have this whole music theme going i guess with remix but you can read here about what each of these does outside the box or out of the box and it goes from like simple to like a huge kind of like scalable thing and so i think that's phenomenal right that you can just spin up a stack and you can have something going that's deploying to fly that's doing all this you know different uh cdns and whatever but um uh, but you can also create your own. So for teams, you might have something that you spin up a lot. You can just create your own stack uh, for everybody to use. Um, and then the final thing is this excellent blog post on simplethread.com by Drew Light, uh, Little, looks like. He just really breaks down like, you know, what, what are the web standards and how they're cool again uh, with Remix. And so I encourage everyone to check it out. I think it's a really great framework. I'm enjoying building with it. And I'm enjoying learning, uh, you know, some stuff I kind of missed along the way, you know, with web standards. So, so yeah, that's it. And thanks for uh, thanks for this time.